Can you, can you all hear me okay? Yes. No. A few no's still from... Okay, if I speak like this, can you hear? I am delighted to come now to introduce a time when we celebrate the giving of a life, the coming of a life into this world. And the life concerned is Nora. And I'm going to ask Nora, well, I can't really ask Nora, but I'm going to ask Nora's family to bring her up now. I didn't quite see them before the service began, so I'm delighted to be able to see you now. So all who wish to be part of the dedication party to come up now. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. So we welcome today uh, this family. Uh, Deepa? Deepa? And what do you want? Sam? Yes, Sam. 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 And other family members whose names I will forget by the time you tell me and I say them, so don't worry. But welcome. And maybe others too in the congregation. And we have, of course, Nora and Sophia. Sophia? Yeah. Sophia. Yes, as well. And every new life is a precious gift from God. And today, Sam and Deepa have brought their baby daughter, Nora, here to give thanks for her life so that she can receive the blessing of the Lord at this time in this place. In the Gospel of Luke, we read, people were bringing little children to him so that he might touch them. Oh, Jesus didn't have any of these problems, <laughs> which does raise the question, how did they hear what he was saying? But anyway, am I, am I on? Yes? You can hear me. Good. I'll start again. In the Gospel of Luke, and the disciples sternly rebuked them. But when Jesus became aware of this, he was indignant and said to them, let the little children come to me. Do not hinder them. For it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Amen, I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. All children are precious in the Lord's sight. They remind us of the beauty and vigor of life. They teach us to trust and to enjoy life to the full. They dream and imagine and so, in many ways, they point us back to the innocence and safety of those first two children made in God's garden, Adam and Eve. Today, we, along with Sam and Deepa and the wider family and friends, give thanks for Nora's life. She is a gift to this family, but she remains, above all, God's own child. Yes, you are. And so, along with thanksgiving for your life, for her life, we also dedicate her to the Lord, hoping and praying us can be united with God. Do you promise to bring Nora up in the Christian faith, and as far as you're able to, to help and support her, to play her full part in this or another fellowship's life? We do. Good. Can I ask you, members and friends of the English Fellowship at Emmanuel Church to stand, please. Do you, the members and friends of Emmanuel International Fellowship, have, yeah, receive Nora as a part of this church family? Do you promise to pray for Sam and for Deepa, and as far as you're able to, to help and encourage Nora to discover the love of God revealed in Jesus Christ? We do. Nora, will you let me hold you? This is the big test. Let's try. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Nora, we pray for you now. May the Holy Spirit of God fill you. And so may God's blessing rest upon you this day, this day, and every day. May you find joy and happiness in your life. May you discover your full potential. If you hold her a little bit, just hold her hand. May you discover your full potential and find ways to express it. May you always know love and peace. May you find hope and meaning in life. May others appreciate you for who you are and respect and cherish your uniqueness. 
And throughout your life, may God's love be your foundation, your path, and your goal. May God always be before and behind you, above and below you, within and around you. May God bless you and keep you. May God make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace now and always. Amen. Amen. Now, I'm going to ask Deepa, I think, this time to come with me, holding her. And maybe the whole party, if you want to come. And we're going to sing our prayer for her now as we sing. So you, probably best if we sit now, the congregation and friends. But we sing together, Abba Father. Abba Father, let her be yours and yours alone. Her. Okay. So let's go. So show her off. Just show her off. Show her off. Watch your feet. Yeah. So if we come down this side. So the... pray just to conclude for this family. Lord, bless this family. Bless Sam and Deepa. Help them to find their true joy and satisfaction as parents and delight in Nora's life. Bless Sophia as a sister. Bless all the members of the family and all their relationships and the ways that they will touch and shape Nora's life. And above all, bless Nora. Grant her your blessing and richness, your love and your peace, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, no, stay, 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 stay. We have gifts. <laughs> we can give you uh, this candle, which is a, a dedication candle and represents the light that Christ brings into the world, which we hope and pray will be her light, the light that will guide her through life. And we also give to her a Bible. Now, you won't be able to read for a little while, Nora, I imagine, but the pictures are very good in the Beginner's Bible. And so this is your dedication Bible. And we give you this card to mem- to, um, ah, for this event as well. And thank you, and God bless you all. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> and now we turn over to some other children, yes. and to Jerry. Yes, what better way to follow it up as we say, let the little children come. Come forward, little ones. Join me up front. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat down here. Have a seat. Come on up and have a seat here. Welcome. Have a seat right down here in front. Let me be yours and yours alone.